Hello everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate uh, sling models in detail. So we will start from very basic. So to start sling models, we need two steps. In the first step, we need to add main dependencies in our bomb.xml. Now we are working with AM 6.3. So make sure that you are using the latest version 1.3.2. My next step and which one of the very important step is create a package under which you will be writing all sling models and make an entry of that package in bundle called pom.xml so we can see that i have a model package and under that i have all the sling models and i just need to make an entry of the particular package in my plugin uh, or gapati felix maven bundle plugin so it is very important to put your package here under sling model package tag because it helps to tell that uh, okay these classes need to be considered as a sling model there is one more uh, cross check step which you can do and uh, which is very you know interesting uh, to know that uh, yeah these classes are considered to be as a sling model so what we supposed to do we need to go here we need to go to sling and we need to go to sling adapters and here you can see oh yes i can see all my models here so this is a second cross check step that yes my class is a sling model so moving forward we have injector specific annotation so before this you if you have worked with basic sling models you have seen that we can put everywhere at the rate inject so at the rate inject is a basic annotation and it works on like uh, the first match it gets it will win through service ranking so injector specific annotations are very important and recommended to be used because it reduces the overall work of the internal execution because it tells directly okay i want this so we will start from the first one which is script variable so script variable okay let's have a demo of it script variable is adaptable to sling http servlet request so through uh, script variable i get i can get page i can get properties page manager and uh, much more so script variable and i can write it so current page this name should be same because i want to fetch the current name over here so if i want to change the current page name over here what i can do i can use the name attribute and put current page over here and i can write page here so it will pick its name from here and, uh, and so but, uh, nothing much i need to make a get of the string get path i can write here return page dot get So now I hope you understand the meaning of the name attribute. I need to build the code. I just need to build the bundle. It will work for me. Okay. In my site link, I can see what I have written. Source page example dot path. Okay. No need to do anything. There are some more attributes that I have defined the injection strategy. So in the energy tells me that this is a question of fold. So I need some injection to the font that sling model should run if it is available. And uh, okay, the build is done. I just need to refresh the page. And it just takes some time. Okay, I have my page path from where the request is going. So this is how script variable works. So let's move forward to the child resource, which is also very important annotation. So how child resource work? In this, this is my component. This is my component, and uh, for this component, you can see that I have put a child, child model, and under that there is a content child name, and under that I have put my description. So what I can do over here? Uh, first of all, child resource is adaptable to this. I can resource over here. Now, what I need to do, uh, I just need child resource, and I need to put resource in the exact name of the child. If here content is written, I need to put content over here. Okay, and my getter. Again, I need to make the same return content dot get. Okay, if I want to change the name of the content, what I can do? I can put name over here, and I can put child here and child here. So no matters if I want to 
change the name i can use the name annotation okay so uh, while building this i can discuss some more things that there are three attributes name injection strategy and via so via is something new so resources child resources is adaptable to uh, child type so let us be these two things also but script value is not adaptable to because resource so what i can do here i need to put say http server request and uh, it is working script variable now what about child resource i can use a via annotation which tells that okay i need to get this attribute from resource so yeah this is how we can do it let's see what is the status i need to refresh the page okay i am getting the complete path of the child so i hope you are very much clear about what via does what name does and what injection strategy does so thank you